Hello and welcome back to another tutorial for CodingBat.com. Today we are going to be doing exercise is everywhere in section array 2. Now the problem says, we'll say that a value is everywhere in an array if for every pair of adjacent elements in the array, at least one of the pair is that value. Return true if that uh, given value is everywhere in the array, according to this definition. Now let's see, basically, we want to go through the array and every one of two numbers has to be this given uh, value right here. So basically you wanna check um, two at a time and see if there's a value in those two. If there's not, return false. If it stays true throughout, then return true. For the first example, you have the value as one and the first, two, uh, first pair, um, that's a one. The second pair, that's a one. The third pair, that's a one, so that would result in true because it is apparently everywhere in the array according to this definition. The second example is false because you have two here, one of them is two uh, because two is the value here, one of them is two, but in this last check on um, the pair, there's no two, so it returns false. Um, similar to that, the last example, the last two, none of them are uh, the value of one, so you return false. So what we want to do is go through the array, starting from index zero. But since we're checking by two, we want to do um, scan one less than the length of the array. And this basically goes through all of them except for the last one because we're scanning by two numbers at a time, which means we don't want to go out of bounds. Because um, if we scan the last one, then it would scan an um, out of bounds error. Now, we're just going to do a if statement to check if the index where we're at has the value or if the next index has that value. And they give you the value and um, the nums and the parameter. Now, if this is true, then you want to continue and else false. This is basically saying that if you come across um, an either this index or the next index, if you come across the value, then you just continue and you continue scanning. Um, otherwise, you have found two consecutive numbers that do not have the value and therefore want to return false without doing anything else immediately. Just return false in that method. If you've gone through the entire uh, for a loop and you've gone through every two indices and seen if you found the value or not and you have gone through the entire thing and it's all um, everywhere and the value according to the definition is everywhere then you do return true and we have gone all the test cases correct if you have any other questions put them in the comments below and we'll be sure to answer them otherwise uh, thank you and see you in the next video